Here is today's makeup look. I used the BH Cosmetic Foil Eyes and a J-Cat Eye Topper and a bunch of other stuff. So if you want to see how I did it to make this look, just keep watching. Alright, I went ahead off camera and primed my eyes with this Neutrogena Concealer, the Healthy Skin Smoothing Stick Concealer. I just went ahead and put it down instead of eye primer. And I'm going to use this BH Cosmetics Foil Eyes 28 Color Eyeshadow Palette. Okay, I'm going to use this color first. I'm gonna go in with this one next. Those do have a little bit of kickback. I don't know if you can see that on the palette. I don't really mind so much. And then I'm gonna go in with this very bright blue color. Alright, and I'm going to go in with this teal color, mostly all over the lid, and I may need to go in and wet my brush. I mean, that's pretty pigmented without wetting the brush, but I may go in and wet it anyway, just to see the difference. I am going to go in and wet it with MAC Fix Plus, just to see. It may have made it a little bit brighter, but these looked pretty good without wetting the brush anyway. I'm gonna pop this color on the inner corner, but I am gonna put something over top of it. You may not be able to see it very much afterward. And I wanted to use this J-Cat Holographic 3D Eye Topper. This is in the shade Azul Lemonade. I have never used this before, so we'll see how it goes. That is super, super pretty. I love it, and it really matches what I had going on anyways. And while I'm here, I will use this whitish color for my brow bone highlight. I just wanted to mention there was like virtually no fallout from that eyeshadow palette. I'm gonna use the Becca Backlight Priming Filter. It's a little sample one. I really like the way this looks on the skin. And I am just popping on the YSL All Hours Foundation. And this is the Sigma Flat Kabuki Brush. For concealer, I'm going to take the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer. I'm going to use a sponge to blend it out. Alright, now that I have all my concealer uh, put on, I'm going to use this Milani Powder Foundation, the Even Touch Powder Foundation. I'm just going to set my face with it. To contour, I'm going to use this Beauty Benefits Press Powder in the shade Tawny.
And for bronzer, I'm going to use this Butter Bronzer, but this is in the shade Sunkiss Bronze. This seemed to have quite a bit more kick up in the pan than the normal one does. Um, and it's a lot more reddish brown. Um, I just think I probably prefer the original one more than this one. For blush, I'm gonna use this Sonia Kashuk Flamingo is the color, beautifying blush. Um, you used to be able to buy this at Target, but they don't sell it anymore, so. For brows, I'm gonna use this IT Cosmetics Brow Power Universal Eyebrow Pencil. I forget how I got this, it must have came in a gift. Universal Taupe is the color. I'm not the biggest fan of that. I mean, there's better pencils from the drugstore that are cheaper. Alright, for the lower lash line, I just used the dark teal from all over the eyelid out on the outer part and then used that J-Cat holographic right there on the inner corners. For my waterline, I'm going to try and use this Makeup Forever Aquamatic uh, waterproof eyeshadow. I, for my highlight, I'm going to go in with this Milani uh, Stellar Lights highlighting palette and I'm going to use this white shade. pretty and wet looking highlight. Ooh, I really like that. I'll have to play around with the other two shades. I'm going to use this Ciate London Fierce Flicks to do my eyeliner. That's one of my favorite high-end uh, liquid liners, but it does seem like the point has gotten a little bit dull over time, so it's a little bit harder to get a very crisp corner. And then I'm going to use this Lancome Hypnos Drama little sample mascara that I have. This is an all right mascara um, from Lancome, but if I were gonna purchase one from them, I would get the Monsieur Big. All right, while I was off camera, I spritzed my face with this Mario Badescu Skincare Facial Spray with Aloe, Cucumber, and Green Tea. Um, I just got that yesterday. Seems to be pretty nice when you spray it on. The spritz is very like nice and even and very delicate compared to some that are like. And I use this Milani Easy Liner for Lips Retractable Pencil in the shade Most Natural to line my lips. And Maybelline doesn't make this lipstick anymore. It's called Rhinestone Pink. It was like a gemstone collection they had. I've used it to death and it is like my favorite lipstick shade aside from one other from Lancome. Um, so I'm gonna use it even though they don't make it anymore. I'm sorry. All right, so here is the finished makeup look. I absolutely love the BH Cosmetics Foil Eyes eyeshadow palette. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love the J-Cat holographic thing. If you can get your hands on those, oh, I don't know that I needed the holographic thing because the foil eyes eyeshadow was just so vibrant anyway. Um, I don't know that I needed to use it, but I just love it. It's a very cool eye look today. Um, I really enjoy it. 
So those are the two things that I would highly recommend more than anything else in this one. Um, I wasn't that crazy about the butter bronzer, the sun-kissed uh, variation of the butter bronzer. Um, I would much prefer just the regular butter bronzer that they initially came out with. So when they added these other colors, I'm not as crazy about them. Um, I think it looks fine, um, but I do like the other better. So yeah, those are my final thoughts today. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure and subscribe to my channel. That way I'll know that I'm reaching people and that way you'll also be able to see when I upload the next one. So thank you so much for watching today.